Katherine Clark with the New York Daily News. We're here today at the iconic Woolworth building in Lower Manhattan, where a developer is converting the top 30 floors into luxurious condos for the global elite. The grand apartments are still under construction and won't be finished until early 2017. Alchemy Properties is working to develop them into lavish living spaces with equally lavish price tags. The penthouse is widely rumored to be coming on the market for a jaw-dropping $110 million. We got an opportunity to see a little of the plans, as well as get a glimpse behind the scenes at the construction. We journeyed to the top of the tower, once New York City's tallest building, in a less than glamorous construction elevator to see what work has been done so far. We're here today with Kenneth Horn, president of Alchemy Properties, who's going to be telling us a lot more about this incredible renovation. Thank you so much, Ken, for My joining pleasure. us. So this is really a, a very representative floor. Um, this is the condition that the floors are in. Wow, you would feel like king of the world in here. Yes. So these were some of the old panelings which we attempted to salvage. If you can't. It's just, you can see this paint all over it. It just really wasn't mm -hmm. worth salvaging. We can't think of another building in New York where your windows are framed, right? Yeah. They all have frames, but they're not framed. They're right? not decorative. And, right. Frames. And so in essence, what these windows become are, you know, little portraits. And the north side. As nice as the view is during the day, the view at nighttime is truly I mean, spectacular. I mean, New York dazzles at nighttime, and that's, that's the great view. Right? And the amount of man hours we're spending on this is, is incredible. Relative to any other building we've done, this is clearly the most complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly the, the one building that probably needed more planning to do, because not only the interrelation between the upper portion and lower portion, but every time you open the walls, you're finding things that are 100 years old. We actually opened up one wall. We found a newspaper. Some newspapers from like 1913, 1914. Thank you so much for showing us around, Ken. We really appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Absolutely. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today at The Daily News. Uh, we'll be bringing you lots more amazing properties. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more.